Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for, you know, learning more about yourself. You know, I know a lot of things probably came a shock to you that you are of what you are, but everything happens and everything comes out at divine timing. So with that being said, said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video or you're, you know, or you're just telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has just gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath, you know, is going through some really trying times right now and just needs some validation, go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for stopping by the channel and, you know, just dropping comments and, you know, beautiful vibes. It's all greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Girl, I'm getting thirsty. It's like I'm getting drained, but I'm hyped up at the same time. Um, today, I love this meditation because it's very powerful. So if you feel like a, <laughs> like a woo, what's that? Um, it is 963 hertz of universe meditation, frequency of God's receiving universe uh, information. And I will post this link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Heokas dealing with the process of elimination. There is, you know, we're on this journey and there's a lot of things that when we first started this journey, we're not going to end up with. We're going to be a totally different person from where we, from where we started at to where we're ending and it's just like for me it's a blessing for everything i've went through no matter if it's good or bad you know and i hope y'all are looking at your situations the same way because we are not the same person that started off on this journey we are not going to be the same person that's going to finish this journey as well because we're going to be more knowledgeable have more wisdom be stronger in places that we were we had our weak points at you know seeing things for what they truly are being able to elevate and ascend towards things we never even imagined of being and you know and everything had to be in our life to be shook and shaken up or we felt like we were broken at one point felt like we were sitting in a hellish nightmare which if you're an indigo or even a hayoka or a regular empath with all these different gifts we have all went through our fair share of hell and there's just a lot of things in our life that we had to have a process of eliminating out of our lives like with me I had to eliminate drinking even though I, I wasn't like an alcoholic or something like that but I know like every weekend I had me a glass of wine there's sometimes y'all seen in my videos that I've had wine I haven't had anything to drink since uh, let me see Thanksgiving and that was like a half glass of wine I had some Belvedere I think that's what it was yeah it was Belvedere and um no Bella Rose that's what it was and the last time it was around the same time November 11th is the last time I had my one cigarette uh and the last time I actually had you know some marijuana and it's just like now it's like if y'all see me at that you know like cloud nine is either because I'm getting energy from my dad which is my twin and or I'm just getting so much energy from everybody all around to where it's having this euphoric feeling like you're like you're on cloud nine, like you done took something, like I was on a value trip or something. But um, I'm really blessed to be able to say, you know, even though I go through my stressful moments, I'm able to do it head on without having to have a catering to a cigarette or rolling up a, you know, a joint or a blunt or whatever like that. I can really say I can just hit it straight on. And there's a lot of people that, you know, are going through things that have certain addictions that, you know, they, they're always, there are some people that ask me, you know, why did you stop? I said, because it was blocking me from my blessings, you know, even though, yeah, it helped me out in a lot of different places. I used it for escape. Now, if this is a different story, 
if you have cancer or HIV or something like that, it, or you have seizures, those are good for those things. But for me, it was just, you know, either you know, for municipal purposes or I was just going through much, so much that I didn't want to deal with it. And I had to look at it like, hey, even though you smoked or whatever, you know, the problem's still going to be there when you, when you come back down. So it was just like, you know, it got to that point where I would smoke and smoke and smoke and I wouldn't even get high anymore. It was just like that, you know, when they say sometimes that's a gateway to go towards different things. And I was just like, oh, heck no. And then plus it was, you know, my heart started acting like it was, you know, it was about to pounce out my chest. And I'm like, oh my gosh, but it does, you know, the chemicals that they put in it at times was really messing with my, my heart. So it's just like, you know what? I had to eliminate that out of my life. You know, it was just like it was used for that purpose because God knew whatever I was going through, I could not handle that mess over. But now it's at that point where, you know, I can't keep using that as an excuse for the reason that I keep, you know, doing it. So that's why it's just like I don't watch anything. You know, I used to be on different channels where they smoke. I don't even watch that no more because I don't want that to have me going back, you know, doing 10 paces back because you know what us being hey okas we can be you know 10 step forward and you just take that one little simple thing to have us going way back so it's just like you know if you have things in your life that you know you need to be eliminated out of your life you know you should not have to use something to be able to escape from your issues because you're never going to escape from it it's like a rotating wheel it's still going to be there until you're able to see it for what it is and more problems will tend to come your way because there's people I've talked to and I'm just like, you know, I don't judge you. But if you ask me a question, I'm going to tell you. Anytime you got to ask somebody a question, if it's right for you to be smoking something or not, you already know the answer is no, you shouldn't do that. You know, uh, it, it doesn't even have to be, you know, drugs or anything like that. It's just your, your negative state of mind. If you keep thinking negative, you're going to bring more negative into your, your, you know, more negative energy into your life. If you think more positive, positive things will come into your life. But there's a lot of things you had to eliminate out of your life that you no longer need anymore. Like if you're going towards something bigger and better, you know, you need to have a positive state of mind. You shouldn't look for other people to make you feel important or validate you. You know, it's just like, you know, I can be with such and such and they don't tell me I'm this. They don't tell me I'm that. Well, you know, that lets you know that they don't need to be in your life anyway. If they can't, you know, recognize your worth and, you know, make you feel, you know, even though you should make your own self feel important, you shouldn't need any other person to make you happy. Um, you shouldn't need anybody else to, sit, you know, make you feel like anything, even though when you're with somebody, you know, they should make you feel good as, at that time as well as you can be able to do it yourself. You know, because I know a lot of people, you know, they tell me, oh, Rosalind, I'm ready to get married or um, I don't want to be alone. I'm like, nobody wants to be alone. But if you want to be able to make things work and you want, want, a, want a good relationship that's going to last, you have to be able to love yourself first. When you love yourself first and see that validation within yourself, that will come in as well, but you have to be able to heal from the things you need to heal from because it's just like I know a lot of people that are going through certain situations and wondering why when they when they're trying to find a relationship that never works. I said because you haven't healed yet. You haven't because there's a lot of people I know that, you know, have went through certain relationships because they just wanted the fact of being in a relationship just to be in one or they just couldn't see themselves by themselves. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't need anybody because I know with my situation, I will always feel like, okay, are they with me for me or are they with me because of who I'm related to? You know, it's just like, so I, you know, I'm just like, I'm good being by myself because I'm still doing a lot of self-healing. I'm still doing a lot of self-care. So when it's time for me to be able to open up and start a new relationship, it will happen. But that's not what I'm looking for right now. I'm, what I'm looking for is healing, educating myself, giving myself that self-love, giving myself that self-worth, that self-respect, knowing there's things I had to exit out my life. If I want bigger and better, you have to be able to eliminate the things that are no longer serving you. So it's just like when we're going through certain situations, you know, if you know if you're not in a healthy relationship, get out of it. You know, I know at times, you know, with my situation, my financial situation got me where I'm in a stuck in a uh, karmatic cycle where I'm about to get out of. So it's just like when I'm dealing with things, I'm dealing with things, but it's just like, you know what, I'm working on myself right now. When everything is supposed to be out of my life, it'll be out of my life. But that's, you know, I'm not working on trying to be in a relationship. I'm not working on trying to, you know, be with this person, that person. I'm working on me. 
you know, I'm doing my videos. I love what I do. I'm sitting up here pushing out love positivity towards other people i'm helping myself as well as helping others validating things for myself and helping others validate stuff that's going on in their life too so it's just like we're all going through certain things that we need to take out of our life that's no longer serving us it's like the circle that you keep you know if they're all about gossip and drama and this and this and that you definitely know you don't need to be in anything like that now if you're talking about current events and stuff like that and you're trying to bring you know awareness that's a different story but, it, you know, if there's certain things that's just bringing your frequency down and stuff like that, you know that you need to get out your life. Because there's a lot of people that I've connected with. And it was like, you know, we would be good on one certain sense. But then when it kept on being negative, 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 I'm just like, you know what, let me get myself out of this situation because it's not me. You know, I used to be in situations like that where we sit there and gossip and everything like that. But, you know, that's not me anymore. I'm pushing out positivity. I can't judge the next person because I'm doing this. You know, even though we might see certain things on TV or whatever, I, you know, I say my piece about that, especially when it comes to these children and everything like that. I'm going to say my piece about that because, I'm, you know, I'm a parent. But, you know, I'm still going to improve on what I need to do for myself. Like, you know, I love pushing out videos. I love to be able to go through certain things and be able to spread that towards somebody else. If I know it's going to make a positive impact in your life, which I know I've been doing a lot of. I'm just, I'm proud of y'all and I'm proud of myself at the same time. Because it's like when I hear people say, Rosalind, you, you have allowed me to help me recognize my worth. Or Rosalind, you have helped me realize I'm stronger than I actually thought I was. Because we are, you know, there's times when you need to ask for help. That's the strength right there because you're actually admitting, hey, I need help. Hey, I need to know more about this. And you know, there's a lot of time I tell people, you know, I'll help you, but you got to be able to help yourself at the same time. Don't expect thinking uh, you want change, but you're not doing things to put that change in, you know, in motion. You have to be able to do the work as well. When universe sees that, you know, like, okay, well, hey, they're trying to go towards their growth. Like, I'm trying to improve in my life. This is not a situation I want to stay in. So I'm working myself on trying to get out of my situation, you know, because it's just like, it feels like I'm, you know, it's an eyesore. You know, we go through that. Twin flames go through that. When you're on separate times of earth or, you know, with mine, it's just like he's, passed away so it's just like with me I'm trying to learn to be better you know I can't use my dad's spirit all the time to make me happy I have to be able to do that on my own you can't find happiness outside you have to be able to find that inside you have to be able to love yourself inside and it's just like when I see people talking about, oh, I'm gonna be you know I'm gonna be single for the rest of my life yeah if you put that out there in the world yeah you're gonna be single. but you can't sit up here and contradict anything because this is what you pushed out if you're not working on yourself trying to heal, you know, who want I mean, I always tell people when you're when you're in a situation where you don't want to be by yourself, you want to have a girlfriend, you want to have a boyfriend. And I tell them, answer this one question. With you, if you found you right now, if you found a mirror image of you right now, would you date you? Are you equipped mind, body and soul? Would you want to date you right now? And it makes you think like, dang, hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know, and I tell, try to tell people that there are certain things we have to be able to eliminate out of our lives. If we want better things in our life, we have to be able to knock the other things out for us to be able to welcome all the good stuff. So I hope you are able to recognize, um, re recognize, resonate with the content of this video. Drop me a line and let me know if you're going through the process of elimination. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Let me go ahead and give you a shout out. You know, uh, like and subscribe, thumbs up, share a video or share videos and, um, you know, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, I'm giving a shout out to Jackie Torres, Ziggy Moon, and Diamond King, much love to you and many blessings. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wise.